Now that we've identified the five steps, I think that may have been a little confusing. I think it'll make more sense if we walk through an example together. So if the problem says how much ink is needed to print 125,000 eight and a half by 11 flyers, ink coverage values have been determined by ABC Printing Company to be cyan 23%, magenta 87%, yellow 17%, and black 56%. Sun Chemical has also provided the following ink coverage information. All inks, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, will cover 50,000 square inches per pound. So every one pound of ink will cover 50,000 square inches of paper. If we go back to our step-by-step -step process, you can either reference this slide, or I will give you the numbers again as we go through it. Step 1, calculate the area of the paper being used. So we're printing 8.5 by 11 flyers, so we will multiply 8.5 times 11 for a total area of paper of 93.5 inches squared. However, we can't stop there because that assumes that we're printing 100% ink coverage on the entire flyer, which we're not going to do. We know we're going to print 23% ink coverage on cyan, 87, 17, 56, etc. So step two is we need to multiply the paper area from step one by the ink coverage percentage that I gave you for each color. This is where we have to do four steps for every time we do step two of our problem. So I can't just simply say that I have a total ink coverage of a certain value for all four of my inks. I need to purchase cyan separately from magenta, separately from yellow, etc. So from now on we have four steps for every time we want to do part of the problem. So we're going to multiply the area of the paper that we found in step one, which is 93.5 inches squared. Uh, that'll be the same for cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, because this value comes from the sheet of paper that you're printing and has nothing to do with the ink. Then we're going to multiply it by the percentage of ink coverage for each color. However, we cannot multiply by a percentage. We have to multiply by a decimal. So in order to come up with these values, I took the percentages that were given to me in the original problem and I divided by 100. When you multiply across 93.5 inches squared times 0.23 should have come out to 21.505 93.5 inches squared times 0.87 should come out to 81.345 93.5 times 0.17 equals 15.895 inches squared and 93.5 inches squared times 0.56 equals 56.36 inches squared. Do not round any of these values. If you round the values, it will drastically throw off the final pounds of paper you need to purchase because, again, we're still only calculating based on one sheet of paper. If we're printing 8 million sheets of paper and we're off by 0.01, if you do the math, we're off by a lot more than 0.01 when we multiply that by 8 million.